Mary, also known as the Virgin Mary, is the mother of Jesus and one of the most revered figures in Christianity. She is considered to be a symbol of purity and humility, and her role in the Bible is one of the most significant in the history of Christianity. Mary was born in Nazareth, a small village in the region of Galilee, in the first century BCE. She was the daughter of Joachim and Anne, and she was raised in a devout Jewish family. According to tradition, she was born without original sin, which is why she is often referred to as the Immaculate Conception. Mary was a young woman when she was visited by the angel Gabriel, who told her that she would give birth to a son, Jesus. According to the Bible, Mary was a virgin at the time of the conception, and her son would be the Son of God. Mary accepted this message with humility and faith, saying, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. After the angel's visit, Mary traveled to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who was also pregnant with a child. Elizabeth confirmed that Mary was indeed carrying the Son of God, and Mary sang a song of praise, known as the Magnificat. Mary was present at the birth of Jesus, which took place in a stable in Bethlehem. She and her husband Joseph were in the town to register for the Roman census. The Bible states that Jesus was wrapped in cloths and placed in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. After the birth of Jesus, Mary and Joseph returned to Nazareth, where they raised Jesus as a normal child. According to the Bible, Jesus was obedient to his parents and grew in wisdom and stature. When Jesus was twelve years old, he was left behind in Jerusalem during a family trip. Mary and Joseph searched for him for three days before finding him in the temple, talking with the teachers and impressing them with his understanding of Scripture. Mary is also present at several key moments in Jesus' life, including the wedding at Cana, where Jesus performed his first miracle by turning water into wine. She is also present at the crucifixion of Jesus, standing at the foot of the cross as her son was crucified. After the death and resurrection of Jesus, Mary was present at the birth of the Christian Church on the day of Pentecost. She is also said to have been present at the Council of Jerusalem, where the Apostles decided to allow Gentiles to become Christians without first converting to Judaism. Mary is also recognized as the mother of the Church and the first disciple of Jesus. She is considered to be a model of faith and devotion, and her devotion to her son Jesus is considered to be an example for all Christians to follow. According to tradition, Mary lived in Jerusalem after the death of Jesus, and she died there. However, the Bible does not give any information about her death or the location of her tomb. After her death, Mary's body was assumed into heaven in what is known as the Assumption of Mary, and her tomb is unknown. The devotion to Mary is one of the most ancient and universal practices of Christianity. Mary is honored in many different ways, such as the Rosary, the Hail Mary Prayer, and the Litany of Laredo. Mary is also venerated in many different countries, and many churches and shrines are dedicated to her around the world.